All right, Coach, 31-point victory over Newberry today. Uh, we can speak about the offense. He scored 27 of the first 30 in the game. But lowest points allowed this year, lowest field goal percentage this season. What were you doing defensively that really slowed them down? Uh, these last two games, you know, they've just – I think the kids have just really played hard. I mean, it's not that we're really doing anything differently, and, and we actually didn't change anything from when we played Newberry the first time. We know that Lapeo is a really good player, and you got to keep body contact with her at all times. And then, of course – you know, Creed is a super good player, and of course, she scored. I guess she was her leading scorer with 15. And uh, you know, as long as we had Whitney on her, typically we, we did okay. But uh, uh, they're just playing really hard on the defensive end. They're not giving up too many offensive rebounds, and in turn, you know, we're getting stops, and then it just leads into our offense. What does it say about this group that everything that they've gone through? I think we talked about it in the pregame how emotional a senior day can be to come out the way that they came out, and then to keep the foot on the gas the whole game. I think it just, you know, it's a testament to our kids. It's a testament, actually, to the strength of our, our roster and the depth mm -hmm. of our roster when we started this year. You know, we started with 17 players. We finished the year dressing 10, and uh, we did lose a lot of, you know, key players down the stretch and gave up some games. But, uh, you know, these last three games have been really, you know, really nice. Mm -hmm. And these last two home games have been super nice because we've, we've won by comfortable margins. But... Uh, uh, a lot of credit goes to Whitney, Lacey, and Franklin for their leadership and just hanging in there with us as coaches and, mm -hmm. and with their teammates and just to continue to be leaders. And I think uh, when you have good leaders on your basketball team, you know, regardless of who you have out there or if you, if you've lost your point guard or second point guard or whatever, you, know, you can still overcome the odds and, and still have a great season. Catawba on Wednesday in the opening round of the conference tournament, you're kind of in a – I guess a strange position. Wednesday could be the last game of the year for you, or regardless of uh, what happens Wednesday, you could be heading to the NCAA tournament. What do you do to get prepared uh, for that road game against Catawba? Well, you know, Catawba, uh, of course, we split with them on the year, one over there and they went over mm -hmm. here, and, and they're very athletic and uh, certainly a good basketball team. And, you know, it's unfortunate that we have to travel in that first round game, but uh, that's just kind of how it played out this second mm -hmm. semester with our, with our wins and losses. But, uh, yeah, I think we're playing pretty good basketball right now, and uh, you know, uh, you got to have confidence that you can go on the road. I mean, yes, it's a quarterfinal game in our tournament, which could end our run in the SAC tournament. But uh, you know, I think since we found out we were ranked in the region, I really like how our kids have responded. You know, our only loss is at Anderson by mm -hmm. two on a last-second shot with one second left, and then we won three in a row. And uh, you know, this win today was really huge against a ranked opponent that was actually ahead of us. So um, I think our kids have done what they needed to do. Uh, to hopefully get themselves in regardless, but uh, we're going over there to try and win at Catawba and, and continue playing on in the SAC tournament.